ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, I'll be telling you a story about the Thomas the Tank Engine Loss episode scrapped. I'll be doing a creepy pasta reading. This is my first time. I hope you all listen. Chapter 1, the beginning. I don't know if I should tell you this story I had, but it's too scary to remember it. Well, I guess there's no way to forget about that last episode I just experienced. So, I used to be a Thomas the Tank Engine fan. I had some toys, VHS and DVDs, and my Thomas the Tank Engine bed. I was so happy having Thomas stuff in my bedroom. And I have the engines that I bought on Amazon. I can remember the names and numbers of which engine is. When I was home alone, I decided to check the attic because I want to know what secrets I can find. So I went up to the attic with my flashlight on because the attic did not have a light switch. So I've looked around the attic and then I saw something. It was red and looked like a VHS cover of Thomas the Tank Engine from the 1990s, which is where I bought it years ago. And it was, I was hoping that VHS cover was James Lindsay Lesson and other stories, or maybe Thomas's Christmas Wonderland and other Thomas adventures, but something wasn't right with this cover. This VHS cover looked really weird. It saw Percy in the ironworks looking like he's scared. And on the bottom was a scrap tank engine. And the title was, I've never heard of this episode before. It was called Scrapped. I was confused. It's not the word scrapped with two Ps. It was just one P. But I struggled it off and went back to my bedroom and took a closer look at this lost episode that I've never even watched. The back cover shows nothing but black. The only episode was scrap. That's strange, I said to myself. I put the VHS tape on my VCR player and went to bed and went on my Thomas the Tank Engine bed. After the FBI warning screen, it showed the Brit Allcraft Presents logo, but something was wrong with the logo. The logo was red and there's blood dripping in the background. And instead of the name Brit Allcroft Presents, it says Brit Scrap Presents. And, what, and what's worse, was that the music was slowed down and reversed. Then a flash of Thomas's eyeless before flashing in black. Then the opening plate, but the music was slowed down and the title card showed up just like in the title of the VHS tape. Then the episode started. Chapter two. It was a peaceful day on the docks which was a reused footage from the season one episode, The Flying Kipper. Percy was in the docks when Thomas popped to see Percy. They both said something about their jobs. Thomas said he's going to the scrapyard to get some old meal. And Percy says that he's going to deliver some trucks for the calling yard and deliver the mail. That night, Thomas puffed away after a good best friend chat with Percy. I'm guessing... This episode is about Percy getting scared in scrapyards and Thomas was pranking him after and Percy was upset about the prank. I wasn't sure yet. Then it fit into the next scene where Percy was delivering the mail. When he stopped to see a worker of the scrapyard, the worker said that Thomas did not come to the scrapyard and, and asked Percy to do Thomas's job at night. Then it faded into another scene where Percy was going to describe yards alone. Or maybe it was the ironworks. Meanwhile, Percy was calling Thomas's name, but there was no response. Then the doors closed itself. Now Percy was being scared and saying that Thomas was joking around. Even though Percy said that he was scared and doesn't want to stay here because something bad will happen to him. Then it showed the front of the scrapyard 
after a few minutes or seconds, something went wrong. And boy, I wasn't prepared to for the next part. I handled with two spikes that showed up very fast. So fast, I jumped out of my bed like a jump scare from the Kefi coffee commercial. Then two spikes jumped into Percy's eyes. Now this is the part where it gets brutal. Percy screams sounds, really stick. Then I saw blood coming out of his eyes. Then it pulled back. Percy's eyes were gone. And you can see inside his eyes, blood was coming out. Then Percy started to cry. Still sounded realistic. I was crying softly. Then, why would they do this to Percy? Then, he stopped crying. And oh my gosh, this was brutal. I can hear some chainsaws and drills. Then Percy started to cry again. And before, and before I can understand what was going on, the chainsaw went down into P Percy's face mask. It was bleeding so violently, I covered my eyes. But I did not cover my ears. It went on after I heard the chainsaw stop. Then, Percy let out a blood curling scream, which makes his face mask fell off and blood was coming out. Then it cuts to black. Oh my gosh, I yelled in fear. I've never noticed something very bad and brutal. I knew something bad was going to happen, I said to myself. Then it fit into a junkyard where the old cars and trains were scrapped. Thomas puffed into the entrance of the junkyard. Then Thomas stopped where Percy was in the shed. Both of them were scrapped. Their designs were rusted instead of their numbers. They have the word that said scrap. I was very sad to see the best friends being scrapped. Now I know why they banned the episode. It was going to be the last episode of Thomas the Tangent, but they did not air it on TV because of Percy's brutal death. Then I can hear Thomas and Percy's whistle very slowly. Then the ending music, the end credit music played, but before the credits start, a, purse, a picture of Percy, Percy's eyeless face jump scared me. Then the end credits played, I was crying the hardest of my life. After that childhood ruined experience, I rewind the tape and showed it to my mum about the last episode. My mum was very upset. She called Hit Entertainment and the creator of the television series, Brett Allcroft, on her phone. The response were the following messes, messages. We are sorry that the banned episode of Thomas the Tangent. It was supposed to be the final episode, but somebody made the episode very brutal. So we fired the person who made this episode. This was back in 2005, but we continue the series with CGI in later seasons like season 12 and beyond. And you found the lost episode, Something in the Attic, once again. Once again, we are sorry about this banned episode. I got a screenshot of Percy's brutal death before my mother destroyed the VHS tape with a hammer. Later at night, I always hug my Thomas and Percy plush toys so I can sleep better without having a nightmare about that last episode. I will never see that last episode. So that's my last message. If you find a lost episode about your favorite childhood shows, don't watch it. It's best to leave them alone because it will haunt you in the longest time. So for me is that lost episode of Thomas Scrapped. It does not exist in the actual Thomas series. But, you know, but like, like it said, if you find a lost episode about your favorite childhood shows, please don't at least watch it. It's best to leave it alone. If you don't, it will haunt you in the longest time. So thank you guys for this reading of mine.